Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with EC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is the wiring diagram for a heat pump and an air handler with electric resistance heating, as well as the heat pump thermostat. We're going to be going over the color codes of the wiring, and we're going to be going over the voltage pass for each one of the terminals. If you're looking for more videos on thermostats, the troubleshooting and the wiring, I have them all linked in the description section below. We're going to first be going over a thermostat that uses an O terminal for the reversing valve. And what that means is it's a system that powers the reversing valve only in cooling mode. If you're using a B terminal, then you're powering the reversing valve during heating mode. And we'll be getting to that later in the video. So when you're wiring the heat pump thermostat over to the indoor air handler, you're typically going to run 18.8 thermostat wire. Now you can run 18.10 thermostat wire, which will give you additional wires for a potential outdoor sensor. 18.8 and 18.10 mean that it's an 18 gauge wire and that there's 8 wires inside or there's 10 wires inside. In this example you're going to see that we're only using 6 of those wires but you always want to have an additional wire left over that you can use to uh, switch a terminal out if there's ever a future problem. So the thermostat color code for the heat pump thermostat over to the indoor air handler is that Y is yellow and that's for the compressor, G that's green and that's for the fan, R is red and that's for 24 volt power, C is blue and that's the common for the 24 volt power, E is typically white and E is emergency heat, AUX in this case is jumpered over to E and AUX means auxiliary heat, and O is orange and that's for the reversing valve. That leaves two additional wires, one black and one brown that you can use in case there's a problem in the future. The thermostat wire that you want to run from the air handler to the outdoor heat pump is typically going to be an 18.6 or an 18.8 wire. In this wiring diagram, you see that we're only using five wires. So if you run an 18.6 wire, you're going to have an additional wire to be safe for for the future in case you need to change one of those wires out. If you're going to have an outdoor temperature sensor that ends up finding its way all the way back to the heat pump thermostat, you're going to need to run two additional wires from the air handler to the heat pump. So that means you'd end up having to run 18.8 wire. So power is going to originate at the air handler control board and then it's going to move on from there. So power goes from the air handler board over to the heat pump thermostat. It connects to the load of the heat pump thermostat in order to turn the digital display on and it finds its way back through the common wire over to the air handler control board. So you could hardwire that heat pump thermostat or you could not wire up the C terminal and just use batteries in the heat pump thermostat. Also the indoor air handler board and also the outdoor heat pump have power to those as well. So the heat pump thermostat is basically just a switch. You have that R terminal powered at all times and it's ready to connect to any one of those terminals depending on if you're turning the fan on, the heat on, or the cooling on, or turning the emergency heat on. So in the case of turning the fan on, R is going to have 24 volt power, it's going to get sent over to the G terminal, it's going to connect in the thermostat, and it's going to go back over to the air handler control board. Once that air handler control board sees the 24 volts on the G terminal, it's going to go ahead and turn the blower motor on. So if we were going to turn the air conditioning on at the heat pump thermostat, R is going to send 24 volts over to the G, to the Y, and to the O terminals. The 24 volts is then going to be seen over on the air handler control board on the Y, the G terminal, and also the O terminal, and then it's going to continue to make its way out to the outdoor heat pump on the Y terminal and also the reversing valve O terminal. So that's going to turn on your outdoor heat pump in air conditioning mode. So it's going to control the compressor, it's going to control the reversing valve, and then also at the indoor air handler, the 24 volts is going to be on the G terminal telling the air handler to turn the blower on, and it's also going to know to have that in the cooling or heat fan speed because of the Y terminal having 24 volts as well. Now when you turn heat on at the heat pump thermostat, say at 70 degrees inside the house or inside the building, you turn it up to 71 degrees, what's going to happen is the R terminal is going to send 24 volts over to the G and also the Y terminals in the heat pump thermostat. From there, the 24 volts is going to make it over to the indoor air handler. The G terminal is going to have 24 volts on. It's going to tell the blower motor to turn on as well. You're going to have the 24 volts on the Y terminal at the air handler. And then you're going to also send 24 volts out to the outdoor heat pump to turn the compressor on. In this case, what you're going to have is the reversing valve is going to be non-powered in heat mode. So now the outdoor heat pump is running, the indoor air handler is running the fan, and there is no electric resistance heat involved with this at all. So it's just producing heat with the refrigeration cycle and the blower motor. So now say the thermostat is reading 70 degrees inside the building and you set the thermostat up to about 74 degrees. That would end up kicking in the auxiliary heat. So what that's going to do is there's a jumper 
over on the auxiliary heat. It's going to jump over to the E terminal, and then it's going to supply 24 volts to the W terminal at the indoor air handler. That's going to turn on the electric resistance heat as well as having the heat pump running in heat mode. So you're going to have both the heat pump supplying the heat as well as the electric resistance supplying the heat. So that's what's going to happen in order to try to raise the temperature up higher in order to get you up to the 74 degrees. Now you're also going to notice that the outdoor heat pump on the W terminal is going to have 24 volts. And that's just because that W is connected to the W at the indoor air handler. So it's not going to change anything at that outdoor heat pump. It's just um, sending the 24 volts there because it's connected to that W at the indoor air handler. So the W terminal at the outdoor heat pump is only just an output wire for 24 volts that's used only during the defrost mode of the outdoor heat pump. And what that does is it sends 24 volts over to the W at the air handler during defrost mode so that it's not going to end up feeling cold inside the house while defrost is occurring. Now if you decided to just turn the emergency heat on at the heat pump thermostat, the R in the thermostat is going to send the 24 volts to the G terminal and also the E terminal, and then you're going to see the 24 volts at the indoor air handler on the G terminal to turn the blower on and also on the W terminal in order to turn the electric resistance on. So this does not power the outdoor heat pump, it's just powering the indoor air handler, although you do see the W still powered at the outdoor heat pump. But once again, that's just an output wire for the heat pump and it will not do anything. It's not going to give it a control voltage or a command voltage. Now in the case of a heat pump setup that's using a B terminal instead of an O terminal, and that would be used in the case of say a RUD or a REAM, uh, HVAC system. So what you're doing is you're having to power the reversing valve in heat mode and you're not powering the reversing valve during cooling mode. So in this case we're just turning the air conditioner on and what's going to happen inside the heat pump thermostat is you have the 24 volts on the R terminal is going to go to the G and also to the Y terminal. Then that 24 volts is going to find its way over to the indoor air handler. It's going to power the G terminal in order to turn the blower motor on the Y terminal is going to be powered as well, just to know what fan speed it's going to be in. And also the Y terminal out at the outdoor heat pump is going to be powered in order to turn the compressor on. Once again, in this case, we are not powering the reversing valve. So that B terminal is like the opposite of the O terminal. So that heat pump is now running in cooling mode. So now if you're going to turn the heat pump thermostat up to 71 degrees, when it's reading 70 degrees inside the building, the R terminal, which is a 24 volt terminal in the heat pump thermostat, is going to connect to the G terminal, the Y terminal, and also the B terminal. Then you're going to have a 24 volt signal on the G terminal inside the indoor air handler, on the Y terminal, and also on the B terminal. Then it's going to go out to the outdoor heat pump. The Y terminal is going to power the compressor, and also the B terminal right there is going to power the reversing valve in order to turn the heat on. So that reversing valve is going to be powered and it needs to be powered in order to reverse the refrigerant flow direction in order to reject heat inside the building instead of absorbing heat in the building. Then say you turn the temperature up to 74 degrees when it's still reading 70 degrees inside the building, what you're going to have is the aux terminal is now going to be powered as well from the R terminal inside the heat pump thermostat, and it's going to connect the 24 volts over to the aux, then it's jumper to the E, and it sends 24 volts over to the indoor air handler in order to turn the electric resistance on. You're also going to see that 24 volt signal out at the outdoor heat pump on the W terminal, but it's not going to do anything there. So now you have the outdoor heat pump running in heat mode, as well as the electric resistance strip heating running at the indoor air handler. So both are trying to bring the temperature up in order to satisfy the 74 degrees that's set at the heat pump thermostat. Now if you're going to turn the thermostat to emergency heat mode, it's going to be the same wires that are being connected as our first example when our heat pump thermostat was wired to the O terminal instead of the B terminal. And if you were to turn the fan on only at the heat pump thermostat instead of heating or cooling, it's going to be the same as in our first example. You're just going to have the 24 volts powered at the G terminal on the air handler. If you're looking for more thermostat troubleshooting and wiring videos, I have them all linked in the description section below. If you're looking for the tools I use out in the field, I have them linked in the description as well. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.